Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Come along with us this time as retired life travels on the Norwegian Pearl on New Year's Eve. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we have some great news, some surprising news. We are going on a cruise. A new cruise line. In the past we did Royal, now we are trying out for the very first time. Norwegian. Norwegian. So we're getting on the Norwegian Pearl here in Miami. Um, yes. First thoughts about it is, it's kind of chaotic getting the, on. The Miami port. Yeah, the yeah. Miami port's a little more chaotic. Um, I have to say, car, uh, not Carnival, what is it? The um, Port, Canaveral. Port Canaveral is a little bit more organized, um, so you can get in and out efficiently. So getting here was challenging. Yeah, definitely. Getting here was challenging. Um, it was, seemed like it was more organized even over in Italy, yeah. at, at the port in Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and yeah, definitely uh, uh, Port uh, Canaveral is much more. But we'll uh, we'll uh, see you guys on board, right? Yeah, we're excited. Yeah, we're excited. And it's New Year's, so we're gonna That's be right. selling, we're gonna be bringing in the New Year on the cruise. This is a New Year's cruise, so we are gonna try to turn up. He's gonna try. I'm gonna turn up. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. See you, everybody. All right. Headed up the gangway. First cruise on the Norwegian. Pearl. Right. Oh, yes. It is Norwegian, but it, the ship is the Pearl. Did you see the ship out there? Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hi. We are on the Pearl. So it's day one. We are in an inside stateroom, 4567. And you have a, a key card that you just tap and it opens up the door. And you come inside. We've never stayed in an inside stateroom. Well, we have, but many, many, many years ago. So it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So when you first come in to the room, you have a closet. And of course you have your standard life vests, life jackets. It's a pretty decent sized closet. You have your safe. A couple of drawers. A ladder, because there is a, uh, I guess it's called a day bed or a pull down bed. It's on the wall and folds down. Then you come in just a little bit further and you have like a little, I guess it's a uh, station where make up, look yourself in the mirror, do whatever, I don't forget what it's called. And down here is the little refrigerator. And it has wine, uh, not wine, it has sparkling water, it looks like bottled water and some other kind of Tuscany water. I guess you have to pay for that if you drink it. Well, I don't know if it's complimentary, but we will figure it out. Then you have a big mirror with a light. And 
in the main part, this is the bed that I was talking about. I guess it just kind of pulls down if you had three people in the room or if your significant other is kicking out the bed or, or taking up too much space, you can sleep up there. It's a decent sized bed, nice size, but I think that's a, I think it is a king size. Mirror by the headboard. Television, decent sized TV here. Uh, then you have more shelving. And it is very, uh, it's, it is kind of roomy. Then we'll go into the bathroom. All right, so in the bathroom, I was really surprised at the space for an inside stateroom. I really thought I might be a little bit, I'm not claustrophobic, but I thought I might feel a little bit closed in, but you're really not. There's really a lot more room than you would think. And the shower. It's pretty roomy in here. I mean, you know, elbow, doesn't even reach the walls. Nice height. I'm 5'10", uh, and this is probably a little over six feet. Um, plenty of space in the shower. And they also have, I think all the ships now are going to it, all the hotels are now going to it, where they put your body wash and shampoo mounted on the wall. And you can bring your own, of course. All right, so that's a quick tour of the Norwegian Pearl inside stateroom. Um, it, it is roomy, it is a little bit smaller. Um, I will say there's one uh, con to this room. We are on the fourth deck, uh, so I guess it's kind of low, and we can actually feel, we're still in port. We can feel the engines kind of rumbling, and it actually makes Mrs. Ollie a little, uh, uh, she has motion sickness, so it kind of makes her feel a little uh, uh, uneasy. We tried to go to guest services to see if there were any no-shows or any uh, open rooms that we can maybe upgrade to or move to, but uh, it looks like it's a full ship. So um, there's a no go on that. But we'll try to make the best we can, uh, make do, and uh, we'll see you on some of the other decks. All right, quick tour inside state room. So we're standing right next to the Stardust Theater that's on our right. There's two walkways around the promenade deck which means you can go all the way around if you want to walk around. Um, and then we're going to go past all the duty shops and some of the restaurants on our way to the back end of the ship. Start off going through Trade Winds Tax and Duty Free Shop. This is actually where you buy, you know, souvenirs, jewelry, uh, duty free liquor, clothing, yeah. But again, we're in port, so for those of you that have cruised before, you know that when you're in port, the shops have to close. And they can only open up when you're out at sea. But last night, last night we were here, they were doing a raffle giveaway of some diamond earrings, right? A couple mm -hmm. other things, pretty nice. Here they have like a, a lot of uh, very expensive watches, jewelry, that you can purchase. It's like, this is the souvenir shop. Um, you know, you, mugs, cups, water cups, sweatpants, t-shirts, little stuff like that. And then of course you have the duty free shop. So would you say it's not a newer ship, right? No, this was built in 2006, I believe. 
Okay. It was refurbished in 2021. This is the Lotus Garden. Um, and you can come here for, I think it's complimentary Chinese food. For lunch. For lunch. Uh, is it for lunch? Di yeah, I think dinner they charge. But the sushi is definitely a charge. That's not part of it. Then in the corner, we have the Corona Cigar Club. Is the main atrium where they have a bar. There's a TV over there, a sitting area. This is where customer service is. If you want to book your shore excursions, and they have more Epi jewelry. This is the main hub of the ship. You can book your next cruise. There's a Starbucks in the corner that is not included in your drink package unless you have a deluxe drink package. Garden Cafe. <laughs> and as you walk through here, they feel have. very happy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not eating. We're not eating. Thank you. Hello. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. We have a salad bar. We've got hot favorites, pasta bread, soup, and of course, pizza. Because what would a cruise be without pizza? They have a stir fry station in case you want something there. Salads on your left. Cold cuts, cheese on your left. On your right is the stir fry. Sandwiches. Hamburgers and hot dogs. They also have grilled chicken. If you're watching your waistline. They've got soft serve ice cream, chocolate and vanilla, or the swirl. They've also got scoop hard ice cream. Coffee, hot chocolate, tea, decaffeinated coffee, and your vitality drinks. This is a life. These saver. are all included. If you are a hanger outer like we are. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Drink this all during the day. Beverages in the dining room are all courtesy complimentary beverages. Pretty long, large area for people to gather. We've never had a problem getting a table. Sometimes it can get a little noisy. We're still on deck 13, I mean uh, 12, sorry, 12. If there is any overflow problem, you can sit in the La Casina which we'll go to next, that is the Italian restaurant. Not open right now, but if you needed to sit there because there wasn't any more room available, they allow you to eat in there. Here's an interesting thing to say. 
We are parked next to the Carnival, Lib Car Carnival Liberty. And the... Hi. And the... Um, who's there? Ah, Celebrity Summit. And you can see their heliport, which is right in the front where they can land a helicopter if necessary. It's kind of cool to see. So, if you want to eat outside, you can. Out here, there's a bar. There's also extended buffet out here on the back end of the ship as well. Now let's go up to deck 13. All right, so up here on deck 13, is where they have all of the uh, activities, all the extended activities, not actually extended activities. I think I'm teaching uh, the great program. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, athletic so, activities. Athletic activities, yeah. So here they have the basketball courts. See there's a rock climbing wall up there. Uh, and I'm assuming this is a track where you can come up here in the morning and run. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to run. Yeah, me and Mrs. Ollie yeah. get up every morning at 5. And we run. We run, then we go get a coffee and yeah. a Danish. We run to the buffet. <laughs> that's what yeah. we run to. And if anybody out there believes that. <laughs> <laughs> really nice to eat outside, though. We did that this afternoon. Now, import on our left side, right? Yes. So we're at the rear of the ship right now. There is uh, Royal Caribbean. It is, uh, what of the seas? Uh, adventure. Adventure I of the seas, I yes. I think it's Adventure of the Seas. It is, it says it right, oh, right okay. back there. And there's the famous NCL smokestack. There it is. I don't know if I can get a good shot of that. But I don't know, but there it is. She's humming away right now. She's rumbling. <laughs> you going up there? And there it is, the Norwegian Pearl sign. Hey guys, so we are now slowly making our way to the front of the ship for you guys. Oh, I did not know that this was up here. The shuffleboard? No, the golf, um, golf net. Oh, you want to play? Good. So yeah, I haven't swung a golf club in quite some time. Um, so. Yeah, I'm going to swing a club and let's uh, let Mrs. Ollie film it. Okay. We're going to sit behind the net because I don't want to get hit in the face with a club or a ball. These are lefty clubs. I guess I'd have to go and get a righty club. Maybe. I have no idea. Yeah, these are these Can are lefty. Can you use them? I can't hit lefty. Well, then you better go get a club. Probably got to go inside. Um, yeah. Don't you have I, to put it on that thing? No, I am a righty. These are lefty clubs, so I'm gonna try to swing lefty. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not not gonna be. Oh, <laughs> yep, he's great. Not gonna be good really job. Good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Set it up. Ready? Here we go. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Woo! I can't, I can't swing. That's lefty. great. Okay, let's do that again. You ready? Without the oops. Woo! Now that wasn't bad. I for mean, a lefty. I guess that's a pretty good shot. Yeah, it hit the target. So all right, I'm that, gonna try it. And that was lefty. Never played golf before, and I got a, I got a bad hand. All right, you ready? 
Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, let's try it again this time, <laughs> next time without the oops, okay? Uh, the ball's supposed to go forward, not backwards. You can see, I don't play golf. There you go. <laughs> That's as good as it's gonna get, folks. Shuffleboard or hopscotch. Nice little checkers game. All right, so this is the forward half of the ship. Again, we're passing the swimming area. There's the pool bar we told you about. That's above the pool on deck 13. Above that is just an observant sitting area. And yeah. That's the ship. Welcome to the Pearl. Yep. Like this side is the smoking area, so if you'd like to have a cigarette or whatever, you can come on this side of the pool deck. Sit here and collect our thoughts. So deck 12, I hope the camera can pick that up, is dining and bars, top ciders, La Cucina, amenities, sports activities, spa. So let's go see that. All right, so we got a little lost. We got a little turned around. But these are the state rooms here on uh, deck 8. And you kind of see how they are. So here, if you want uh, the housekeeping staff to make up your room, you turn this. It's a turn dial. Turn dial right there. I'm not going to mess with it because it's yeah, not our room. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want them to stay out, you turn it to where it says, I don't know what it says, occupied. It says, uh, it says makeup room, welcome. Like here, this one says welcome. Let me see. This one says welcome. Yeah. And then the red, I believe, says do not disturb. Oh, there we Very go. Very good. Then there's the red. Do not disturb. Do not disturb. So by the sounds of it, it sounds like Oceans is kind of lively right now. I guess they must be serving lunch. Yeah. Well, yeah. there's the bar and everything. Yeah. Bars over here. And people eating, having drinks. Oh, they're showing a movie down in the atrium. Yesterday, I came up here to go to the bathroom from the pool, and it was quite crowded in here. Right now, empty. But it's a gym, pretty decent gym. Right. What was that again? Teppanyaki is a Japanese stir fry. You can make reservations as part of the special dining, to dining package, and that's in this room right here. You can kind of see through it a little bit. They're setting it up. It's kind of tough for the camera. To yeah, go. they it kind of have like reflection. flat frying pans. So you can make up here. Stir fry.
All right, so this is what they call Bar City here, right? The first one you come to is the Maltings Beer and Whiskey Bar. And right now it's early, so it's well, also, most of them are closed. Dead, so they're not open. And the next one is Shakers, Martini, and Cocktail Lounge. And I'm sure this is where Mrs. Ollie will be at some point. This I is was here last night. Magnum's Champagne and Wine Bar. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the way the signs are are lit. So I hope it comes out okay. But that's Magnum's Champagne and Wine Bar. And the ship is decorated beautifully. Yeah, it's still decorated for Christmas. Yeah, random gingerbread houses yeah. and Christmas really trees. Pretty. There's a Le Bistro. That's the French restaurant. La Bistro. Here's the Le Bistro menu. Now we are eating here, so we'll have a more in depth of Le Bistro. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, come back for the next one where we're going to do uh, our dining experience on the Norwegian Pearl. Now it's time for us to get to getting. Get to getting. See y'all. See you. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And please ring that bell so you know when new content drops. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on to.